All right, in this video, I'm going to talk about the Maryland Gunworks Sight Pusher and why I decided to get one of these. Over the years, I've gone through a number of different sight pushers, and what I found is some are good for some slides, some are good for others. But what I decided to do was invest in the Maryland Gunworks um, Sight Pusher for a couple of reasons. Uh, I'll go over those real quick right now, but before we do that, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and we'll go ahead and get started. So to start, the quality on their gun pusher is just um, impeccable. This is a fine piece of machinery. The nice thing is that, let's get this off. What I really like about this tool is that it has a separate shoe for individual guns. They're clearly marked. This one's for a P35. I happen to have a P35 slide available here and I'll just do a quick demonstration of how this works and what the best use is. But the key is that this slide or this shoe goes in here, gets attached through the bottom and we're going to leave it loose for right now. And then this shoe basically holds this slide. So uh, a couple of things. There's an indent in the front to accommodate uh, long dust covers, I guess you could call them. And how this works is, see if I can give you a close-up of this. This slides, well, the slide slides uh -huh, right on there. Now I'm just going to loosely tighten these up just to hold hold it um, and what this gives you is very little movement if any movement at all once you've got all this locked down now I'm going to take this stock rear sight off but I wanted to go through the process of doing this with you guys so let me go over a few details with you this is adjustable and it's graduated to hold the pusher slightly above the sight itself. Uh, what I have found is um, with the SIG P365 slide, it kind of holds it up a little higher than what, what I like. So uh, you can, and this is funny that they don't go through this, take this out. It's got an O-ring. It's got one metallic spacer two metallic spacers. So what I've done, um, depending on the slide I'm working on, is I take one of the spacers out, seat this all the way in, and then we do a fine adjustment. Uh, you want to be really careful when you're doing this though, because you don't want to, uh, all right, it's pushing it out. Let's get it all the way in. You don't want to damage your slide in any way when you're doing this. So uh, I'll show you the process I go through. First off, we lift this up as high as possible, just so that we know the slide's not going to get damaged. And let's center this. Now, I'm going to Let me show you what I'm doing here. I'm locking in the bottom. I've got this pretty much centered over the slide and also centered over the notch that is on this that is on this particular slide. Let me see if I can give you a close-up. So we've got a way so we can drop this down a little bit, but it is centered. There's a notch in the slide, that SIG slide, uh, that the side pusher should go over without damaging the slide. So we're going to drop this a little bit using this screw. Now what I'm going to do, it's kind of hard to see here, I'm going to hold this up to the light and just make sure we're not going to scrape the top of the slide. And we probably are, so I'm going to lift it up by turning this clockwise. So what we're looking for is to make sure that there's enough clearance between the pusher and the sight itself so that you're not scraping, or excuse me, the slide, so you're not scraping the slide, which uh, unfortunately can happen, especially with non-precision tools. And this is a very precise tool. Again, this is the adjustment for the height. 
I took one of the spacers out so I can get it low enough uh, to give full contact onto this slide. So, all right, let's get everything tightened up and we'll go ahead and push that rear sight out. We're gonna just snug these up for right now. And we're gonna tighten these because we want this slide to be locked in extremely tight. We don't want it to go or to jiggle in either one way or the other. And that's what this system does. Having those shoes makes a huge difference. So let's get everything locked in tight. My preference is to go on the slide from right to left. So let's get this set up. All right, everything is tightened down. Now it's time to push the side out from right to left, which is my preference. Now one thing I will note, this has two indents on the side, so if you wanted to mount this on a vise, you could. SIG sights are put in there really, really tight. I hate to say it. But, I put a drop of oil in there ahead of time. It's almost out. It's getting easier. All right. So we've got the rear sight off. Now, here's what really makes this tool unique. And I'll show you here in a second. It has got this cutout, mostly for 1911s that have a very long dust shroud. Um, and what you can do, let's loosen this up on the bottom, loosen the shoe up. You can slide this back so that the cutout or the, your dust cover fits in there. I'm gonna just slightly snug this up. We don't have to do it for this slide, but then you can turn this around. Let's center it. Now I'm not messing with the height, but what we can do is we had used it in this direction before. We can now turn it around and use it in the other direction. And uh, same precautions, make sure we're not going to scrape the, uh, the slide. So I'm actually going to push it forward a little bit. SIG has an indentation in the uh, slide to accommodate side pushers, I guess. That looks about right, so let's tighten this up. Get the side clamps tightened in first. Make sure everything is snugged up. And what I'm going to do is just by hand get it started. And again, for my preference, going from right to left. And I do like to stop and look at things as I'm doing it because the last thing I want is a big scrape on a slide. Should I have misjudged? something things yeah six slides and sights are crazy uh, hard to get on and off for one of the reasons one of the reasons I bought this MGW was because of their so difficult that uh, I'm afraid of damaging with cheaper devices So it's almost out. You can see that there. Yeah, 
and there we go we just got that sink site out all right here's a quick view of me getting ready to put a front sight on I already did the rear sight but this is one reason you might want to use a vise because it makes it pretty convenient so this is not locked down just yet I'm centering it so I'm going to lock the bottom nut down you can get to it easily and then I'm going to lock the slide in place what I'm going to do well let me point something out when you're putting sights on this is really one of the things I like you can actually get a pretty good view of how much clearance you got and I'm going to raise this just a hair make sure I got clearance on both sides I'm going to place this all the way to the right or as much as possible and my replacement slide, the slide's going to go in there, actually. Get it started, make sure this is positioned correctly. Okay, lock it down. And, and again, not, not to repeat myself, but the overall machining and tolerances pretty much ensure that this is not going to go in there crooked, which would be uh, disastrous for, this, for the site itself. So I'm going to go really slow at first. Make sure it's going in there correctly. So much easier when you have it in a vise. I think that's about center. I'll go over it with a micrometer later, but uh, you can see this was really easy using it on a vise. Um, so that's my recommendation. All right, so you see me remove the slide on that SIG P365. Um, you know, SIGs are, I don't know, I've found them to be notoriously difficult to get the slides off of. I actually oil them a little bit and let them sit for a minute before I do it. Um, but it did it effortless. Well, I'm not going to say effortlessly because it did have to put a little bit of muscle into it. But it did do it without any damage to anything. Left it nice and clean. Um, as smooth as you can get. I, I really like this tool. Um, yeah, it was a significant investment and um, I don't regret it. There's no, no buyer's remorse here. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I really hope it's been helpful to you. But if it has, hit share and like and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.